You talk a lot about discovering your passion, but why is finding your niche and really just honing in so important as the first step? before you get all passionate, too passionate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're tied together because you need the passion in order to figure out your niche. It's, I often say, let's find that place you're passionate because that journey will take a while. And if you're not passionate about something, you're gonna drop by the wayside very quickly. So that, but the niche, I think, goes back to what we were talking about earlier. It's like, if you are going to be established in one arena, that is going to help you. It's going to help you. First of all, you'll be more focused. You won't be all over the map. But secondly, it will help others to know where you're playing and what is your tribe. And third, I think you could make far more difference if you are playing in one uh, particular arena that is a you know, there's trends that are aligning to you, there are, there's need, there's a market need. So I talk a lot about that in the first chapter. It's not just, oh, I want to go do X, but going to back in what I've learned in my career is you better have somebody who's paying attention. First of all, a niche shouldn't be so tiny that there's only five people who are listening. But secondly, it, it shouldn't be so, uh, that you, what you're taking on should be part of a broader community. You're not supposed to take the whole world on, on your own. So thinking about that tribe, thinking about who else is making change that are in my adjacent possible that I should align with. And, but you don't do that until you find the niche. Like how can you find who's adjacent to your niche until you find one? So that's a, sort of a long answer, but I think it's all intertwined and and it's uh, safety in numbers so once you find your niche you can find that tribe to play with